the Doodlebug slash Baja Racer mini bike did 64 miles per hour with a 4.66 ratio, a 15 on the clutch, and a 70 tooth on the rear sprocket. And it has a uh, Tillerson 212 with a billet rod, Mod 3 cam, Makuni carb header pipe, and a 70 degree flywheel key. So anyway, now I'm gonna do some zero to 30 times with this to see what it'll do from zero to 30 with that gear ratio. And then I'm gonna go ahead and install this Juggernaut torque converter with this riser mount to see how much quicker it'll be from zero to 30. And then also see if it gains some top speed. It might with the torque converter, I'm not sure. But anyway, I guess this torque converter is made for a modified engine so that uh, Tilly 212 should be a perfect candidate for it. zero to 30 with a 15 tooth clutch did it in 4.88 15 tooth on the clutch and a 70 on the rear 4.66 ratio anyway i'll go do one more to see what it'll do zero to 30 15 tooth clutch the second zero to 30 run did zero to 30 and 4.76 4.76 so it's pretty consistent all right now i'm gonna go ahead and install the uh juggernaut torque converter let's go ahead and loosen up this engine let's go ahead and remove this clutch yep gonna need to pull it right There we go. Go ahead and unhook this throttle cable. That way I can I can uh, pull this engine off and install that riser mount. Go ahead and unhook this ground wire and this kill switch. Go ahead and pull this engine off and mount the riser mount. Right, go ahead and install this riser mount. It's nice, the comes with all the hardware and mounting bolts. Go ahead and install this riser mount. All right, that's nice. Man. It's got a lot of, a lot of adjustment. All right, now I'll go ahead and reinstall. Let's go ahead and put this engine back in here, the Tilly. There we go. Yep, looks like it'll fit. I mean, there's a little bit of there's a little bit of clearance there, but it'll fit. And what's cool, the gas cap will clear the frame on the other side. It's close. Just kind of loosely install these motor mount bolts for right now, just until I get a more of a feel where it's actually going to bolt to. Yeah, that thing actually fits on there. It's tight, but it fits. All the way up to the top. Nice. Go ahead and bolt up this torque converter. And driven. Let me go ahead and switch out this sprocket real quick on this driven pulley because it has a 40 chain uh, sprocket on it. Go ahead and switch this out. Okay, go ahead and put a 35 chain sprocket on here. There's that. Work a lot better with the uh, 35. All right. 
All right, so uh, added an extra space or two to bring the um, the uh, pulleys in alignment, so that way it doesn't eat belts as fast. I got to get this belt down in here. The farther down in here, the easier it is to get on. I'll put a keyway in there. that and you can see the uh, pulleys are in total alignment and I actually added a little bit longer bolt to make up for that spacer it's only like an eighth of an inch longer or so cut this chain down Uh, so far so good so it looks like I, um, I'm not even gonna have to move this bar that's nice I thought I'd have to at least bend it or cut it off or something all right there's that all right that looks like it'll work so there's that you tighten this thing down Go ahead and tighten this engine down on the mount itself. Torque converter on, chain on, mount tight, engine tight. Yeah, it actually fits pretty good. The only reason it really fits is that uh, Coleman cc 200 fuel tank if it had a stock tilly tank it would not fit i don't think because it is very close go ahead and put the slide back in go ahead and hook up this kill switch and we should be all right all right there's that that alrighty there we go Baja racer slash doodlebug mini bike with a juggernaut torque converter so we'll see what this beast does from 0 to 30 and top speed tell I can't get it on it I can't get on it all the way from the from the beginning it does wheelies all right I did zero to 30 in three and a half seconds I mean it bumped a half a second off, or it bumped a more than a second off and I'm not even getting on it all the way, I can't. All right. It did it in 3.52, almost exactly the same as last time, three and a half. And it could be a lot quicker too, but I can't get on it all the way because it does wheelies. So it made it like extremely quick compared to what it was. Top speed run, juggernaut, torque converter.
did a top speed of 48 miles per hour. That's pretty good actually with this um, this big gear on the back. But man, this thing's got a lot of torque though, I'll tell you that. Like too much torque for this little bike. All right, so the Baja Racer Mini Bike with the Juggernaut Torque Converter is super quick. That thing has all the torque you'd ever need. It did uh, zero to 30 in 3.5 seconds a couple times in a row. And that's not even getting on it. I couldn't even get on it from the beginning or it'll just, it'll just wheelie. And then it did 48 miles per hour. It's a little slower at top speed, but all you would have to do is add any gear you want because it has plenty of torque to pull pretty much whatever gear you want to put on it. So you could have all the top speed you want and still have a lot of low end torque. That Juggernaut is definitely a worthwhile mod. That thing is awesome. And especially for this Tilly with a cam. This Tillerson turns around uh, well over 7,000 RPMs. So that Juggernaut works really good with that uh, cam that's in it. So yeah, it's definitely a worthwhile mod, man. Definitely a good mod.